In this step we will execute the operation trace function. Go to measurement tab then click operation trace. Click edit. Here you can select the number of points you want the software to capture. If you select higher number of points you will capture less channels on the scope. You can also edit sampling time and traceable time. You can select the trigger conditions like the mode, which channel is the trigger, the slope, and position. Trigger function is very important since it will determine when you will start capturing the data. Then you select which analog channel reads which condition, there are multiple options from torque command, position command, or velocity command and many more. You can also set conditions for the digital channels as well. Next you will need to go to the test operation tab. Click the positioning operation. Set your velocity, torque command, acceleration, deceleration, and position command to fit your system. Click servo on, then click start. If you have a master controller you won't need to execute position operation. Go back to operation trace and click on the start button. Then you will see the trace of the commands you selected. Each channel is color coded. You can change the range so you can get a better view of the graph. You can also go to the channel information tab and select auto to let the software set the auto range for each channel. You can scroll right to see all the points captured by the trace. Allowing you to pick and choose any data that you would like to see. You can also select the display cursor window. Which allows you to see the values in between a certain range. In this step we will show you the monitor function. Click the monitor tab then click monitor. Expand the window so you can see the name of each parameter, the present value and the units. This function allows you to see every parameter and its present value. From position gain, to present position of the encoder and many more. Now click the test operation tab. Then jog operation. Change the stop method when running the motor so the motor will continue to run until you hit the stop button. Turn servo on. Click positive direction. Now go back to the monitor tab so you can see the values change when the motor is running. When you stop the motor, the values will no longer change on the monitor tab.